company I've never heard of messaged me and they were like, hey, do you want to check out this unbelievable thing that we're doing on Kickstarter and we'll sponsor your video? And I was like, I, I don't know. It's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable thing. I thought maybe this is one of those things where like, oh, they got some computer renders and a little empty aluminum case and they're trying to like hopefully make this and there's no way this is real. But I was like, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take a look at the beta unit. And then it came in the mail and it's real. With or without the dock, this tiny PC can do so much. This is the Kadas Mind. And I've looked at a lot of tiny computers, but I think one of the things that's unique about this one and possibly a little bit different is the dock on the bottom. Now this is PCI Express 5 speed, which means you can do a lot with it. Now if you wanted to, you could you could get a regular dock like they have here, and then I've got the one here. I saw this and I'm like, oh, I need this. So this is a slightly bigger dock, but inside there, there's a 4060 Ti. So you can take that with you, do your office stuff, and then come home and plug this in, do 3D work, but also play games because the 4060 Ti and it's this tiny, tiny, Unit. Now, even without the 4060 Ti, you can still power up to four 4K displays at 60 hertz. Um, I'm going to try to talk through a few of the specs on this. So, the power adapter on this is just USB-C. Uh, they came with it came with this, but you know you do need to make sure that your USB-C uh, plug can provide some power. Some of the really cheap ones won't be able to output enough. It's weird. USB-C is a strange thing. All this is powered with only a 65 watt adapter. It is compatible with uh, PD fast charging with gallium nitride support. The form factor on this is 5.7 inches by 4.1 inches by 0.7 inches. It's not even an inch thick for a mini PC. That's 146 by 105 by 20 millimeters. So it's said a good way to like measure this out is it's a quarter of the size of a piece of A4 paper. And for the people in America, that's maybe about the same size as a piece of notebook paper, I don't know. Uh, 450 grams, by the way, for everybody in the civilized world. Before I even get to all the specs and features, I want to talk about the use case for this. And a lot of it's the portability, being able to have a couple different docks, one at your office, one somewhere else, or, or just being able to take this to a coffee shop with a tiny like 16 inch portable screen and using like a small Bluetooth keyboard or something. Something like that's pretty cool because you got a lot of power here, but just being able to have, you know, one computer that you move around from different places and have all your stuff on it. So when you unplug it, it can go into standby. So it's got its own internal battery backup that'll run for 20 minutes if you unplug it. Beyond that, the Kadas Mic can sleep for up to 25 hours without an external power source, and it can do 48 hours if you put it into hibernate mode. I mean, even if you're just at home and it's plugged in and you're using it and the power goes out, you're not gonna have data loss because you've got a battery backup built in so you can finish up what you're doing and then save your stuff safely and then shut down your machine safely. Now this is a beta unit, but I'm gonna read the specs that they have here. It's got up to a 13th gen uh, Core i7-1360P, and then we have the Intel Iris Xe graphics on the inside. It uses uh, LPDDR5 memory, and we have dual M.2 support on the inside as well. Let's grab my handy decibel meter. While this is running, it picks up about 45 to 50 on the, on the decibel meter, which is not loud, but uh, you can hear it, so I don't want you to get it and think it's completely silent. It's very silent if you're just doing word processing using the internet or something to that effect, but if you're doing 3D work, rendering, or if you're, you know, playing a video game, you will hear this. It made the, I guess, the decibels near it within like a two or three foot range go up by 10 to 15. Not extreme, but you definitely do hear it because it does have a small fan. So let's go through and take a look at some of these benchmarks I've done on this machine. First off, starting with Cinebench R23. Now this one has the i5 1340p, so not the i7. So this is a different model. Remember not too long ago when the 7700K was like the thing? <laughs> it's so funny. And now this tiny thing that's, that's not even a pound is faster than the 7700K. So while it's not going to outperform the, the CPUs that are ridiculous, like these up at the top that are for giant workstations, for the size, I don't know if there's anything that's this fast at this size. Now this is our Geekbench score. Go on in there and let you take a look at that. Both single and multi-core. And then I also did superposition, even though that, that's probably a bit much, but it'll give us a good idea because it taxes the, the GPU and the CPU at the same time. Running at 1080p medium, I did DirectX and OpenGL. Just so you can see, this is the OpenGL benchmark. There's our result. And then with DirectX, we actually averaged 19.45 frames a second on the medium settings. Superposition is a bit crazy for a machine like this. Like you would never be playing a game that like, this is like AAA quality. You would never be playing that on this machine unless you had the 4060 Ti or a similar dock that had a graphics card. So those are the benchmarks. Now we can take a look at the ADA performance. 
So I have Ada here. Well, it's got vapor chamber liquid cooling on the inside and some pure copper fins to help dissipate the heat from the core components. And then we have a magnetic levitation cooling fan to top it all off. Even though it's tiny, it stays in a very nice spot between 60 and 70. A little over 15 minutes. And I am very impressed with the with the cooling performance, but no. And the, the outside of it doesn't get that warm either. What happens when you use nice metals? This proprietary interface is extremely interesting. Like this is why I was like, there's no way. Like they got their own proprietary thing doing PCI Express 5 gen speeds, but yeah, and 10 amp power supply to go with it. And they've certified it for 10,000 plugs and replugs. All right, on the front of the unit, it's extremely sleek and just has the power button right there. And then if we turn it all around to the sides, we see just have some airflow vents there. Two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports. Now, one of the other things that's nice is if you get the, the Mind graphics dock, that supports Thunderbolt Type 4 or Type 3. And then we also have, uh, well, no Ethernet on here. We've got some USB 3.2 as well. And that's what you get with this little device. You could just take this around and play video games. I don't know, play emulators, whatever you want. But then, and you get back and you plug up this dock. Let's go through this. Right here in the front, we have an SD card reader right there. Then we have USB, it's a 3.2. And then beside that, we also have our combo for headphone and microphone port. Also, this is a fingerprint scanner right there. I'm getting a lot of fingerprints on there. But you got a fingerprint scanner. And then this is actually volume and it's tactile as well. So you got, oh, that feels good. You tweaked my potentiometer. All right, let's look at the back. I love how everything's going 2.5 gigabit. So the ethernet is 2.5 gigabit. We have two HDMI 2.0, those will do 4K 60 Hertz right there. Then we have two USB uh, type A 3.2, and then we have a USB C, that's the power port right there. Put all this together. Oh, that feels good because it just like snaps on there magnetically. You have a smorgasbord of options. You can, you can hook up all this stuff at the same time. It doesn't default to the dock. You can still use these ports and these ports because the PCI Express Gen 5 connector activates this, but you still got these. So you can use this HDMI and this HDMI and these things, you can hook up to four monitors and yeah, it's kind of crazy. We have a nice little rubberized texture on the bottom so it doesn't slide around wherever you put it. The other thing I didn't expect is once I started playing some games, sound started coming out and I'm like, where's that sound coming from? And I looked around and I was like, oh, oh, it's, it's got sound. <laughs> so the, the Mind Dock has a built-in audio system. So that it's, and it sounds pretty good. I mean, it sounds better than a lot of the monitors. And I think one of the things that, that ha makes it sound pretty good is when it's sitting on a desk, whenever you have speakers and they're sitting on something, it generally has better bass response. So whether or not they're fancier than some of the fancy speakers and monitors, I don't know, but monitors don't sit flat on your desk. So this does have a you know decent sound bass response. It's not gonna replace your ridiculous surround sound system or your fancy headphones, but it's awesome if you wanna go somewhere and play emulators or just play videos, tutorials, whatever, or at your office if you just need a speaker. Just make sure the volume's down and don't forget that it has a speaker just in case, you know. So right now there's only a few days left for this on Kickstarter. I wanted to get this done before then even though I'm busy. So I, I put a little extra time into looking into this and yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And I kind of want that 4060 Ti dock because I've been thinking when I go to Japan, try to stay there for a few months if possible. This would be awesome to have with that 4060 Ti dock. Hmm. 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 Yeah, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you thinking about getting one of these? Is there anything else you want to know about it? Let me know. See you in the comments.